Hey guys, welcome back to GoFry. So in this video, I'll be talking about the 12 gigs of VRAM on the RTX 3060 because the announcement last night, it was night here at least, it was 1 a.m. over here in Malaysia. So yeah, the announcement over at CES by, the, by Nvidia on the RTX 3060 having 12 gigs of RAM has set many people into a frenzy because they thought their RTX 3080 with 10 gigs of VRAM is losing out in performance and that Nvidia is cheating on them and all those kind of nonsense. You see, when it comes to VRAM, you have to understand that you have to look at it in a holistic manner. This means you have to factor in other details like the RAM type, the speed, and the bus width. And before that, let's make it clear. When Nvidia announced the RTX 3060, they mentioned that the 12 gigs of RAM is for content creation. They did not in any way say that the 12 gigs of VRAM will, going, will be improving your gaming performance. After all, if you want better performance, there's the 3060 Ti and above. The VRAM is a storage, right? V RAM. So the RAM is a storage. Uh, when it comes to content creation, yes, the software may want to load things into the VRAM for the processing purpose. Games do that too, but games you run around, let's say you're playing F any FPS or story kind of game, Cyberpunk comes to mind, the, the scene changes a lot. So that involves a lot of um, transfer from system to VRAM and such. So it works actually very differently from content creation. So with that, you have to look at the bandwidth, meaning that, you know, you look at the specs, it says like um, RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070 has 448 gigabytes per second bandwidth. Yes, we are talking about that. You see, how do you calculate the bandwidth? Now we'll come to, we're coming to this part to show you why you have to look at it in a holistic manner. Let's take the 3070, which is right here, for example. It has 448 gigabytes per second bandwidth. And how do you come into that? You need to know two parts. First part is you calculate based on the memory, which is typically 1750. So to get the, the 14 Gbps number, which you typically see on websites, you take the 17,050, multiply it by four, because this is GDDR6. Previously, in to what I remember, GDDR3, it was multiply by two. I might be mistaken for that, but I've, it's been a while since I did a lot of this kind of calculation. So that's for GDR6. And being DDR, you take that amount, which is four times 1,750, that comes to 7,000, right? So, and it's a DDR, so you multiply it by two, you get 14,000. Leave that number there. And then let's go to the, the other side, which is the bus width. The bus width for the RTX, 3070 and the 3060 Ti is 256 bit. Now you divide by 8, you get 32. So you take the 14,000, multiply by the 32, and what do you get? You get 448,000. Take that number, divide by 1,000, and you get gigabytes per second. Easy. And assuming the RTX 3060 is going to have the same memory and same speed, but the bus width has been declared in the spec sheet. It is 192 bit, which is a lot less compared to the 256 bit on the 3060 Ti and 3070. So with that, the calculation is coming to about just seven to coming to 70. It is actually 75 percent of the, the the 3060 Ti and the 3070. So yes, you have more, RAM, but the speed is less. And for those of you who are worried about your 3080, the RTX 3080 uses GDDR6. It has higher memory frequency and the bus width is 322 bit. So in the end, the gigabytes per second bandwidth of the 3080 is more than double that of the 3060. So you have really, really nothing to worry about. You have 10 gigs, but it is so much faster to get things done. We haven't gone into the other details like the CUDA cores and such. So yeah, don't worry about all that. So with that, I hope this presentation is useful to you to understand that 
you your 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080D will not be losing out to the 3060 that have 12 gigs of memory. After some, I do come by people who are saying that, well, I want to the games to last and all that. Well, you, if you think about the VRAM, typically games when they allocate a lot of VRAM is when you run at the highest of settings and you are playing like higher resolution, 1440p on, onwards. Well, you certainly will not be playing that on the RTX 3060. I mean, you could, depending on game. But even from NVIDIA's presentation, they are comparing it to the 1060 and the benchmark is at 1080p. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you like this information. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel and if you like content like this, please, I could use your support. Subscribe to this channel and of course, click on the notification bell. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.